Hello, and welcome to this instructional video. Today, I will guide you through the process of creating Lottie animations using Lottie Creator. In this session, I will not be creating my own illustration from scratch. Instead, I will be utilizing a free resource from FreePick, which offers a vast selection of free vectors. Our focus today will be on creating a page not found error animation. To begin, I will search for a suitable illustration on FreePick. Once I have found and downloaded the desired illustration, I will open it in Adobe Illustrator. This step is necessary because the downloaded files are typically in Illustrator or EPS format. I will then save the file as an SVG, which is the format required for Lottie animations. If you already have an SVG file, you can bypass the Illustrator step and proceed directly to using the SVG in Lottie Creator. Using Lottie Creator a powerful web-based tool for crafting lightweight, highly customizable, and interactive animations. Lottie Creator is ideal for enhancing web, app, and social media interfaces, now enhanced with AI-based Motion Copilot for an even more intuitive experience. With Lottie Creator, you can produce stunning animations without the need for resource-intensive software like After Effects. This tool simplifies the creation of sleek, professional animations for your web and mobile application UI UX designs. Let's get started and explore how to leverage Lottie Creator to elevate your design projects. In this step, I imported the SVG illustration into Lottie Creator using the import option. Once the illustration is imported onto the stage, I will adjust it to fit the canvas size appropriately. Next, let's delve into the layers of the SVG. By enabling and disabling the layers using the eye icon, we can examine which elements are assigned to each layer. This process will help us understand the structure of our illustration and make any necessary adjustments for our animation. Let's proceed with this exploration. Having familiarized ourselves with the layers, the next step is to adjust the anchor points of the objects. Anchor points are crucial for creating smooth animations as they determine where the pivot points for movement and rotation are located. Proper placement of these anchor points is essential for animating body parts or any other elements effectively. Each object layer contains nested layers for the separate elements, allowing for hierarchical animation. This structure enables us to animate each element individually while maintaining a cohesive overall movement. Let's go ahead and adjust the anchor points, keeping in mind the placement of joints and the desired motion paths.
Once you have finished adjusting the anchor points, it's time to focus on the core properties essential for animating objects and shapes. 1. Position changes the location of objects on the canvas. 2. Rotation rotates the objects around the anchor points. 3. Scale adjusts the size of the objects, making them larger or smaller. 4. Opacity controls the visibility of the objects, allowing for fade in and fade out effects. 5. Edit path animates shapes by tweaking their vector points. Each of these properties can be animated using keyframes. By assigning different values at various points along the timeline, you can create smooth transitions and dynamic animations. Let's explore how to utilize these keyframe options effectively to bring your animations to life. Keep in mind that you shouldn't animate all elements simultaneously. Maintain an offset to create more natural and dynamic movement. Always remember that joints move in a hierarchical order. For example, when animating an arm, start with the shoulder, followed by the forearm, and then the fingers. Additionally, the body reacts to these movements, and facial expressions change accordingly. All these elements are interconnected, so try to animate them by physically feeling the movement yourself. The essence of animation is acting and embodying the movement. Observe which body parts move, to what extent, and how facial gestures change to express emotions. This includes animating eyebrows, eye blinks, and head rotations. By truly understanding and feeling the movement, you'll create more realistic and expressive animations. Now, closely observe my actions and techniques. Take note of each step and understand how the process works. This will help you grasp the concepts and methods being applied, enhancing your own animation skills.
While animating the facial features along with the head rotation, I am also animating the eyebrows, eye blinks, and hair. For the hair animation, I am using the path animation option. By selecting the hair layer and clicking on the edit option, I can keyframe and tweak the vector points to animate the hair shape. In this example, I am applying the principles of secondary action and overlapping action. Secondary actions are movements that support the primary action, adding more realism and depth. For instance, as the hair is attached to the head, it follows the head's movement. This means the hair starts to move slightly after the head begins to move and continues moving for a short while after the head stops. There are 12 fundamental animation principles, which you can learn more about by searching online or watching the numerous instructional videos available on YouTube. Understanding these principles will greatly enhance your animation skills.
our character animation is progressing nicely. Once you are satisfied with the character's movements, it's time to animate the other elements in the scene, such as the mouse cursor pointer, window, search, and block icons. Adding subtle movements to these objects will elevate your animation, bringing a higher level of professionalism and vitality to the overall motion design. By giving attention to these details, you enhance the overall experience and bring more life to your animation.
our animation is almost complete. Now it's time to export it in JSON format for integration into web and mobile applications. To do this, click on the Export button to convert and save the animation in JSON format. You will find the exported animation in your Lottie dashboard. If you are a paid member of Lottie, you have the option to export in multiple formats. Additionally, you can open and review the output in the Lottie editor. I hope you found this video informative and enjoyable and that you've gained valuable insights from it. If you have any questions or if you're facing any challenges, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I'm here to assist you and provide answers. With that, we conclude our tutorial. Stay tuned to the Artutor channel for more insights into UI UX design, motion design, and drawing painting. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share it with anyone who may benefit from this content. Click the notification bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos, and please give us a thumbs up to help us reach a wider audience. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video lesson. Have a great day.